area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Cookies, but I let him run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. Damn, don't like the walk, he like the tech. I actually battled in Europe. I know Australian leagues that want me dead for the funds. So, what continent you going on before me, West Africa? Nigeria, boom. This is easy. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Yo, first of all, Loso versus Jerry West and JC versus Fonz. These battles are not talked about enough. Now, now hold on, man. It was a crazy, crazy weekend in sports, man. I know, I know. A lot of y'all seen what went on. You know what I'm saying? You know how things go, man. You know we came up. A little short this weekend, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm broke. Wait, hold on, hold on. Who that? Who, yo? You talking about the games? Yeah, I'm talking about the games. We talking about the games? Yeah, the games. Nah, 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 fam. We talking about these games. And you, today, Vodafy, oh. you gonna hold this L. Hey, you gotta switch out that head. Oh. There you go. Uh, <laughs> See that? Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing here, man? Like, this is the disrespect. Like, the disrespect. So, said the disrespect. It's not disrespect. Come on. We man. had a bet. Right. A long time ago when the season first started, right? Right. Right. And guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. And I told you what? Said the Brooklyn Nets was not going to win the NBA championship. And what happened? The Brooklyn Nets are not going to win the NBA championship. I feel pressed. Like, woo. Oh man. It's, ah, ooh. Hold up, the thing hot. This thing hot. God. Ooh. Ooh. God, this thing hot. Ooh. Oh my God. Woo. Showtime SP. Showtime SP. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. Now, this thing hot. What I'm going to do with this thing here? This thing on fire. I got it for you, baby, baby. Don't you even worry about it. Don't you even worry about it. It's on the way. Is on the way. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the Brooklyn Nets ain't win the NBA championship, y'all. All right, oh, well, uh, So who we got? Who we got what? Who we got winning? The Suns gonna win the championship. Okay, I can roll with D-Book. Um, all right, later. <laughs> Hold that up. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, wife says, uh, uh, yeah, so, so what happened, what had happened was, the, I made a bet that I said the Brooklyn Nets was gonna win the NBA championship, and I thought they would. I'm not gonna blame injuries. I'm not gonna blame anything. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't happen. We came up short versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Congratulations to them. You know what I'm saying? It'll be what it is. Uh, the Phoenix, um, the Philadelphia 76ers. Now you, mother, <laughs> Ben Simmons. I got one for you. I got one for Brooklyn, bro. The fact that you are afraid of offense is puzzling. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. Yo, y'all was definitely supposed to be the land. Knocking off the Philadelphia 76ers. One of my luck I would have knocked his ass out. To 96. <laughs> okay. You, well, you I, do what? I ain't laughing. What you mean, what? I was He's in his locker room. He, you, you do what? I want to hear that, man. Get out of my face with that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I, yeah. I know you would. I've heard the story. There's no way y'all was supposed to lose to Atlanta at home. But. That's another story. So, um, Jerry West versus Loso. Um, salute to Fancy. Um, Jerry West versus Loso. Yo, I watched it more than one. I watched it like twice. I ain't gonna hold you. And, um, yeah, I'm, I rock my Brooklyn. It's all good. Um, I felt like, and I feel like, the battle probably doesn't get as much credit as it probably does deserve because it was on the reloaded day or whatever the case may be, the day after it aired, the day after Jerry West actually had a bar about that um i don't have a bunch of notes and all of that stuff man like it is what it is i watched it i did have loso win in the first round um i felt like loso came out he had a lot of energy he had the nigeria bum line i remember that line you know what i'm saying when it's something that's super crazy that kind of sticks with me um the, he had the nigeria bum joint um and overall his flow and his performance and his progression throughout the round and different pockets of material that he was in 
I felt like it was very dope, you know what I'm saying? And we all know Loso, we've seen Loso rise from bullpen, making it on URL, making his rounds, making his moves, coming up and getting big. Like, like Loso is like one of them ones to me. And I always give the Christian battle rappers a lot of credit because first and foremost, they're doing this at a high level without cursing, without, you know, doing a lot of the things that people who, you know, spit secular battle rap have to do. And I think that that's kind of crazy. Jerry West first round, like, for me, I and I don't want to sound like a hater, you know what I'm saying? I know niggas love to put that on me. But I like Jerry West when Jerry West battled Glue Easy. Like, I like the punched heavy style where he was rapping with, because he was punching crazy versus Glue Easy, but he wasn't sounding like nobody else. He didn't sound like Nitty. He didn't punch like Av. Like, his punches was crazy. I like that style, to me. And I feel like he's channeled it in some instances and in other battles, but I feel like he needs to channel that style and hone it. When he's doing that, he's elite. Like, he's, he's, he's one of them ones. But I haven't seen it in a while. In the first round, I didn't really know the direction he was. I heard what he was spitting about, but I did, it wasn't, to me, better than Loso's first round. Now, the battle, it gets crazy, because in the second round, uh, Loso, you know, he starts using the angle. He used angles in like the second and third round. His second round, he used the angle talking about Jerry West had got pistol whipped. Like he got, I guess he was, he was saying, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to start no narrative. I know y'all niggas do me. He was saying that he got pistol whipped at a basketball game. He said he got pistol whipped. I liked it. Um, fire, he had some dope angles. He was going in and out of different pockets of flow. He was doing what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, I did like Loso second round, but to me, Jerry West, in his second round, he started to pick it up towards the end of his second round. The, two, the 12 gauge, no, I'm gonna make him suffer first. Like he was, that, that bar, it hit. And I was like, where is these punches that's like this when you get in the dynamic punches? Where are they throughout the whole, whole battle? Like I had Loso win in the first round. Um, second round is kind of debatable. I gave it to Jerry West. The third round is where the battle is really going to be determined at. Like when you watch the joint in his third round, Loso's whole kind of round was an angle. He did the angle about Big K leaving EFB because Jerry um, was co I don't know if he was co -signed. I don't want to say co -signed. He questioned the validity of the paperwork that I.D. Boom was involved with. And he said, you know, you joined the Legion of Boom. And he was saying he was doing an angle about him going to the West to get a name. This, that, and the third. The angle was cool. Not the greatest angle I've ever heard, but it was cool. I'm not hating. Low so. I'm just giving my opinion, my nigga. You ain't got to like it. Overall, it was a solid round, but the angle was... He had a... Let's just do it like this. There were parts of the angle that were fire. You know what I'm saying? There were parts of it, like dibbling, dabbling, and picking and choosing that were fire. But overall, you know, it was just an angle about him being EFB... Big K leaving EFB. People, the reason why I say that is because people join these battle rap crews every fucking day. Like, they in and out of these battle rap crews. Somebody join the crew today, they leave a crew tomorrow. It's like auto pay. Like, a nigga be in a crew today, be out of crew tomorrow and shit like that. Now, if somebody battles Jerry West and uses another Big K EFB scheme, I'll fucking remember this time. You know, I know you. <laughs> I'll remember. Get it. But, uh, so, it was cool, but, uh, you know, his round was fine. Overall, I wasn't mad at the round. I wanted to know what Jerry West was going to come with in his third round. In Jerry West's third round, uh, he comes out. He had some fire bars. He had the low shin. Um, you know, he said, like, bath and body works. I'm hitting low and shin. You know, low shin. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had some more punches in there, too. And then he did the pass it around game. To me... I felt like that took away from this round where he whispered a word and the word went around the crowd and got back to Bonnie and said, you know, oh shit, it came back the truth. Loso's effect. I got it, but to me, that part of the round, it just, like, it wasn't super crazy to me. The end was, but to pass a word around and he's rapping in between it, trying to, like, keep it going, it, 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 it was, like, I need the, I need the glue easy. I, I'm a fan of the glue easy, Jerry West, but you're not taking no time to do no shit like that. I did like the antic that you did in the beginning in the first round of Stomp. Dun, dun, do you want a revolution? That was cool because we know Jerry West for doing a lot of antics and shit like that. So I definitely liked it. 
Overall, this battle is very fucking debatable. It, it, it is. You could literally flip a coin and, and pick a winner. The app got Loso winning 2-1. I'm cool with Loso 2-1. Uh, Jerry West, I just felt like there were certain times in the battle that he probably wanted to do. Uh, he probably should have did a little bit more. Because if he would have punched, 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 punched at Loso, like just really angled him and barred him away like the way I know he's capable of doing, it, he, he, he could have it got dark for him. Because... To me, Loso did better versus Vixen uh, than he did versus Jerry West, but he still won. Uh, like it was a, it was one of them performances where if I'm not recapping it, I don't know how many other people are rushing to it. I don't know if there's a lot of Loso versus Jerry West recaps, but I feel like they deserve it, and I feel like both of them did their thing. But you know, what can I say? Uh, I'm gonna just throw JC and um, Fon's thoughts in here. Uh, this is just my thoughts to the JC versus Fon's battle. I watched it. Um, from what from my vantage point, and I see a lot of people making it like super clear JC body bag. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. I'm gonna just say one word to describe it from my vantage point is levels. Um, JC finds his first round, his whole first round was the crackhead JC angle. You know what I'm saying? Like he was talking about JC being on drugs and things like that. Like he was, he was. It was a different finds because it was a, it was a lot of angle. Like, I never really seen Fonz use a whole angle for a whole round like that. Some people was fucking with other people saying, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. JC comes out, JC's all bars, and JC's telling Fonz during the battle, you cannot fuck with me at all. Like, this is different. You cannot fuck with me. Like, he's letting him know. That's the precedent that JC said. He's like, yo, while you're rapping, you're not fucking with me. Like, you're not gonna win. You're not messing with me. Um, what I will say about the battle, I got JC winning 2-1. Um, I had Fonz with, uh, what was it? I think I gave Fonz the third round. I edged it to him. But I got JC winning the battle, clearly, because JC definitely showed that there is levels. And I said it not too long ago that JC is like the litmus test for battle rappers. Like, if you could survive versus JC and not die, 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 there are good things in store for you. And I think there are good things in store for Fonz because Fonz did his thing. Um, Fonz took the battle, you know, I, I looked at it like I just personally said, I think he tried to do something a little different than everybody trying to, because JC had a lot of Colin Fonz ad flips, you know what I'm saying, like, the, the, you do this, like the tax money, you get a, you get a same old ad and all this other shit, like he was flipping a lot of ad flips and calling them basically like, uh, a great value ad and shit, I don't see that in Fonz, I know Fonz got a lot of talent and Fonz is dope. Um, I would like to see Fonz continue to get some bigger names, maybe some O Reds, uh, you know, when O Reds serious. Um, maybe some, you know what I'm saying, continue to get those names and continue to get that love because I felt like Fonz, although he shot up there quick, he didn't really get a lot of battles after that. He didn't get the, the push where he's getting all of the names and shit like that. Shot, Fonz ain't even battle shotgun should get, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like that's like... Uh, 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 that's like one of the entry level joints when they fucking with you and they putting you on you should get a shotgun sugar I seen him and shotgun sugar going back and forth the other day hopefully that battle happens but overall I will say this um, I did like what Fonz did versus JC like not love I've loved other performance I liked it you know what I'm saying it was it was cool it was straight uh, he didn't get by I don't have him getting like body 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 bag I know how y'all niggas be like oh somebody got smoked three old boots you know what I'm saying? Like the motherfucking, um, like the Brooklyn Nets did, and it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? I will say this. Uh, even though there were injuries, a lot of injuries all throughout the NBA, when Bron teamed up with the Miami Heat, they didn't win the championship their first year. They lost to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? And they had to live with that for a whole year. Kevin Durant, you know, even though he dropped 48, he took that loss. He got to live with it for a whole year, let it process, and I'm sure that'll be, it'll be, it'll be greater later. I'm sure that, uh, you know, there's some things that they got to work on. There's, you know, obviously the defense. Um, Joe Harris. Defund Joe Harris. Defund Ben Simmons. If you're a Philly fan, I feel bad for you because if Ben Simmons scores 10 to 15 points a game, which is not a lot that you're asking somebody who makes $170 million, if he scores 10 to 15 points a game, they beat Atlanta. 10 to 15 for an NBA All-Star. You're not asking much. That is role player. He's supposed to be the second guy. If there's Batman, Ben Simmons is supposed to be Robin. Ben Simmons wasn't even Alfred. 
He was not even Alfred in this series. To have that kind of contract, and Bede's playing better than you on the torn meniscus, um, Tobias Harris is playing better than you, uh, what, what's his name? S Steph Curry brother, Seth, 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 Seth Curry, Great Value Curry is playing better, uh, Court Maz is playing better, you got like four or five people playing better than you. Shea Milton was probably, Tyrese Maxey was playing, there's like six or seven people in the Sixers that was playing better. His, he's got, you know, it's to a point now where the Sixers are going to have to come to the realization that at 6'10", as a point guard, if Ben Simmons is not going to shoot the ball or not going to learn how to shoot free throws or not going to get at least a 10 to 15 foot jump shot, they're going to have to move on from him because you're not going to win at that level with a dominant big man, post, a post man like Joel Embiid. He's going to get double teamed. He's going to have to kick the ball out. He has to kick the ball out. Everybody's going to defend people except for Ben Simmons. He's going to get left open. He's not going to shoot the ball. They defend him from such a disrespectful distance that it's, it's not even comparable for a starter to be at the top of the key and can't even shoot. He'll have to get converted to a small forward or a power forward. Shaq said he punched he would have punched him in the face yesterday. That's how bad it got. So um Philly's got adjustments to make. Brooklyn does too. Joe Harris is not a star he's not a starting shooting guard in the NBA. He could probably come off the bench and shit like that, but He's definitely not a starter. Eh, 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 no, no, he's proven it. And he'll come back next year and start making five and six threes a game. But all the Brooklyn fans are going to remember what happened in the playoffs. Nobody gives a shit about that. We don't care about the regular season. You flop all throughout the second round. If Joe Harris makes one or two open three-pointers in the fourth quarter or overtime, we're having a totally different conversation here. So defund Joe Harris, defund Ben Simmons. They can both get the fuck out of here. Other than that, uh, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to the family, man. I hope everybody... Oh. Hope everybody had a good Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, you know what I'm saying, that are, that are doing their thing, stepping up, or even the fathers that are playing the role of a father, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of big brothers out there, a lot of uncles out there, a lot of stepfathers out there, you know what I'm saying? I definitely um, spent time with my family yesterday, that's why I ain't blogging or nothing like that, but I definitely want y'all to know, salute to every single one of y'all, keep doing what y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us didn't have fathers growing up, so it's good to have a chance to reverse the curse, you dig? And so, yeah, salute to my oldest son, Showtime SP, who's gonna be on Chill Out with Chilla Jones tonight, doing a bar for bar breakdown on Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones. He's gonna be doing that tonight on Caffeine. Salute to Chilla Jones, salute to uh, Showtime SP. You better not back down from your choice. You picked your winner. You pick your winner, Showtime SP. If you back down because you're doing a bar for bar breakdown, you are getting clowned. You better stand on who you pick and have your reasons why. <laughs> Gang.